Hello YouTubers, welcome to my channel, let's do some cooking. Let me show you how easy it is to do Puerto Rican Stewart beef tongue or lengua de res guisada, my own style and my own recipe. It might not be the most attractive cut of meat in the world, but it's delicious. I used to call it the filet mignon of the poor people. Now it's expensive and difficult to find. For this, you will need 1 teaspoon of adobo, 1 teaspoon of salt, 2 tablespoons of olive oil, 8 small potatoes, 1 mini onion, 4 garlic cloves, 4 red roasted peppers, piquillos are amazing, 6 tablespoons of sofrito, tomato base, 3 sazon with culantro and achote packets, half a beef of bouillon packet, 2 glass of red wine, Spanish Rioja is the best, one for the beef tongue, and the other one is for you, salute. Of course, a beef tongue and a lot of fun. Cut the tongue in half lengthwise, then slice the half in bite sizes, place it on a pressure cooker with water and a pinch of salt for 25 to 30 minutes. What does beef tongue taste like? This is gonna be a shocker for you, but uh, it tastes like beef. The flavor is rich and hearty, and when prepared properly, the tongue has a tender texture. It tastes similar to a filet mignon or a flan steak, but with a slightly milder flavor. Let's prepare the ingredients for the sauce. Mince the garlic as small as possible. Just be safe with the safety knife cutting technique and avoid a visit to the ER. In Mexico, they serve beef tongue in delicious tacos de lengua, one of my favorites and it also offered in many barbecue restaurants in Korea and Japan. Done with the garlic, get that onion and chop or dice as small as possible. Don't worry, there is no wrong way of doing it. Grab those red roasted peppers and slice them. I prefer to use piquillos. Piquillo peppers are small tangy peppers only native to the rural village Olorosa in Navarra. They are fire roasted, then hand peeled and packed in their own juices. I'm going to serve this lengua guisada with some Puerto Rican style white rice. If you don't know how to do this type of rice, check my other videos where I show how easy it is to make this type of rice. Some people call it arroz con grasa when done with tocino or Spanish bacon, but I use it vegetable oil today. The beef tongue is done, so let's get it out of the pressure cooker and start cleaning it. Yup, we have to clean it so it looks pretty soft and not ugly and chewy so the not so adventurous people can eat it let me show you how to just take the tongue and peel the outer layer you know the outer skin the one that looks like sandpaper easy on a medium frying pan or medium sized pot heat in medium high two tablespoons of olive oil when warm add the sofrito garlic the sazon the adobo and the salt stir fry then add the red roasted peppers with the onions in exactly that order. Just kidding, just you can add the onions first and then the red roasted pepper. Then add the potatoes. I decided to cut them in small bite sizes. Mix all together and cook gently for 10 minutes, stirring until softened. Reduce the heat to medium and add the cooked, slice it, bite size it. Tongue. Take two cups of the pressure cooker, beef tongue broth, and add it to the mix. Now add that glass of wine to the mix, and very important, finish the other one yourself. Salute. Now I'm gonna increase the heat to high while moving constantly to reduce the sauce. What I'm doing right now is just making this sauce very thick and creamy. So I'm just putting it high. I want this to evaporate as much water as possible. It's already smelled delicious. Always try the sauce. Make sure it doesn't need anything else. Don't bury yourself. Once the sauce has been reduced, just lower the heat to medium and cover it. Cook for 10 more minutes. Are you hungry? It smells and looks delicious, but it's worth it. Serve this lengua guisada with sunrise, a slice or two of avocado, or some sweet fried plantains. Pair with some Rioja wine. I recommend to you Campo Viejo de Empanillo. This is the Traveler. Thanks for watching and buen provecho.